Welcome back. We're next is 33 today verses 15 to 17. So this is Moses and God. They're having this discussion and here we go. Then he said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not lead us up from here. For how then can it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? Is it not by your going with us so that we, I and your people, may be distinguished from all the other people who are upon the face of the earth? The Lord said to Moses, I will also do this thing of which you have spoken, for you have found favor in my sight, and I have known you by name. So how can it be known that God is showing favor to his people as he goes with them by his presence? And this is what they are insisting on. Please, we want your presence. And then this is interesting. This will distinguish them from all other people. Friends, there's a lot of people in uh, religion today who want to make their church as much like every other church as they can. There are people who want to follow the, the biggest methods for, uh, for increasing the number of members in your church. You know, uh, get the increased offerings. You know, we need more money. So let's, let's uh, there's people, that, there's companies that actually do fundraising things that, that you pay for them and they come and educate you and you use their plan and your church raises big money for some big project, you know, and there's a lot of good projects there. I'm not, I'm not going against projects. What I'm saying though is that there's a lot of things that are interchangeable. There's a lot of things that are uh, kind of greed mode or earth mode. Uh, we're going to do things the business way. We're going to, and, and people can all do, you know, it's interchangeable. It's, it's, one, it's one product. We can use it if we're Methodist, Baptist, Lutheran, you know, whatever. Uh, notice here that God wants his people to be distinguished from all other people. What will distinguish God's people from all other people? God's presence among them. And so God wants it to be real, not superficial, not, uh, not you know, like, oh, we've, we've signed a contract and these guys are going to help us do a big fundraising thing. I'm not saying you can't do that. What I'm saying is uh, God's people wanted God with him and they wanted to be distinguished from other people. Today, there's some that want to minimize the doctrinal distinctives. Uh, a certain church has certain doctrinal beliefs, but you know what? Those things divide us from other groups, so let's de-emphasize those, and let's emphasize all the things we all agree on. Hey, we're all buddies, right? We're all friends. We all worship the same God, and we all have the same Bible. Well, friends, the fact is that we do not all worship the same God. We do not all have the same values as the Bible has. Uh, there are many approaches, and uh, because of that, we need to seek to be faithful individually, seek that we're interpreting God's Word the right way, uh, and then we need to be faithful to that. And so, um, God will distinguish himself as present in our midst when we follow his commandments. When we do what he says, when he follow his guidance, when we follow his word, when his instructions, we say yes and come along with that. When we say, God is love, I don't understand this command at all, but I don't need to understand it. I need to obey it, and I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll understand it better at a future time. And that's the way it needs to be. Many times we will uh, step out faithful, seeking to be faithful to God. We don't have all the answers. We don't completely understand uh, what we're doing. But uh, why is this pro why this prohibition? Well, maybe we don't understand it, but you know what? Since God has prohibited it, I will comply, and uh, he, he can tell me the details later. You know, like why the thing that seemed confusing to me, like why, why is that even a prohibition? Well, if the Bible says it is, it is. Then we just go along with what God says. God will make the details plain to us at a time when, when it's needed. It's not needed this moment. You don't need to, when you're six years old and your mom and dad say, do this and don't do that, you don't need to know. You don't need to know the details of it. You need to say, yes, mom, yes, dad. You need to go along and, and you'll find out later why it was. You know, it was a safety thing and, and they didn't, couldn't explain it all to you so that you'd understand it, but it was still a safety thing. So you didn't do it or it was a moral thing, whatever it was. So friends, let's, uh, let's uh, watch here. Look what God is doing. God is, uh, wants his people to be distinguished from all other people. And that will be if we're really walking with God. And if we're really walking with God, we're going to take his instructions uh, very seriously, very seriously. And we'll do things like keeping the seventh day Sabbath. We'll have, uh, we won't be looking like people in the world. We'll be adorned differently. We'll have the adornment of a meek and quiet spirit. And so friends, um, watch how this works. God's people are distinguished from all other people in the world. 
uh, have we perfected everything? Or are we all just, no, we're not saying that. All we're saying is we're a bunch of beggars looking for bread. We are those who are needy. We recognize Jesus is the thing we need. And we, are, we have failed many times, but God has given us mercy and we're seeking to be on his side. We're not trying to pull rank and say uh, we're all higher or better than other Christians or other groups or whatever. But we are trying to say is if the Bible says do this, I want to do this. If Jesus says to do this, uh, I'm all in and maybe I won't understand it all, but I can get some of the details later. But I want God's presence. I want to be distinguished as part of God's people and his presence will be with me as I do what he says. It sounds kind of works oriented to you and I today, but that's because we've heard too much of this soft serve gospel. Let's be true, seek to be true to God's word. And even things that seem unpopular or a little bit more rigid, we're gonna find that a merciful and faithful God is behind these things and it comes from love, not authoritarianism. Friend, let's, let's uh, be careful and let's help our churches be right with God too, because we want to be distinguished as those who are part of God's people. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you.